Now, we should mention that yesterday in the Daily Update, Dave wrote that the plan for TLC was for Drew to defend the title against Braun Strowman. Well, last night on Raw, they do this storyline where everybody who had been on the Raw men's team, because the Raw men's team won, there, and by the way, think about this. Think about this, by the way. The Raw men's team wins, and so the show opens with all of them getting a chance to say why they should get a shot at the men's title. Well, the Raw women's team wins, and there's a sole survivor, and there's zero talking storyline of her actually getting a championship match. The champion actually has to challenge and offer her one. Anyway, so everyone gets a chance to say, why do you think that you should get the, get the shot? And so they're all jibber-jabbering and whatever. And then Adam Pearce says, well, last but not least, let's hear from Strowman. And this big dummy, (laughs) this walnut-brained lummox, Mm -hmm. he gets all upset that Adam Pearce said that he's last. Like, can you be dumber in storyline? Like, it's impossible. This is a level of dumb, impossible to comprehend that he's mad about. Someone actually saying, last but not least. You know what but not least means, you dummy? So he gets mad and he headbutts Adam Pierce, and they announced today that Braun Strowman has been indefinitely suspended. So, I mean, you have two options here. Option number one is he doesn't get the title shot at TLC, which I would think that he shouldn't because he's indefinitely suspended. Or B, you do all of this rigmarole to get a three-way next week, and then in the end, none of those guys get the shot and Braun Strowman does. I don't know which way they're going. I'm just telling you what the storyline is right now. Well, if if you had to put money on it and knowing what they do, which one would you go with? Braun Strowman ain't getting the title shot at TLC. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding (laughs) me? I would do. If if you had to put money on it, though, with what they do, I could absolutely see him do it. I would put a a safer bet on that than anything else with what they do. Well, what I would do. say they don't even have a show booked, which is not a surprise because that's how you do things. You run a pay-per-view because it's a pay-per-view with a title on it like TLC, and we'll figure it out when we get there, which is one of the big problems. I have to hold myself from saying a pile of garbage streaming downhill into a sewage bin because of the people that work there, because I actually enjoy these guys' work. I actually like watching Sheamus in there with with Matt Riddle. I like to see Keith Lee in there with, with Bob. Bobby Lashley, even though I don't think Bobby Lashley should try to lift him up, bring him into the rail again, because I don't know what that was. But Bobby obviously smacked the side of his head there uh, before they went to commercial break. But I feel bad for these guys. I feel bad for Adam Pierce. Adam Pierce is, to me, a great on you know, on-screen character. And they make these guys all look like idiots b- surrounded by other idiots. And it just drives me nuts. And that's the biggest problem is these guys are so talented. Their work is so good. But it's the lead up, the stories that they give for these guys, which is all the promotion's fault. And usually how the matches end, which, again, is the promotion's fault because they have to get to wherever they're going to get to. Just let these – it's almost better to just let them go out and, and wrestle. I know you can't do a pure tournament in ROH, and I'm not suggesting that they do that. But it's amazing the damage they do do to themselves trying to come up with stories that just make everybody look like either they're impotent look like they're idiots look like whatever it is i'm done now with this stupid ass show wow Period. look at you if you're a big fan of these video clips here on youtube you're missing out on full length shows down there on the bottom right hand side of the screen click that join button and when you sign up you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on youtube over 300 at current count Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the join button, sign up today. You can also click subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.